Hi YouTube, thank you for clicking on this video. So first thing, I apologize for how my voice sounds. I'm getting over a cold, so I'm not 100%, but my voice is making its way back there, so that is why I sound like this. But other than that, today I am going to be showing you a fall makeup look that I came up with. So this was basically inspired by just all of the colors of the season that I love. Some oranges, some browns, some golds in there. Um, I used the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette and a little bit of the Juvia's Place Warrior palette to get this look. So if you're interested in seeing how I came up with this, then keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to get right into it. So I am starting off with my Juvia's Place, the Nubian 2 palette. I'm pretty sure I've used this on my channel before. I might be lying, I don't remember. But I'm taking the color Morocco right here, which is a nice like burnt orange pumpkin-y shade. And I'm taking it on my BH Cosmetics number no. 5 brush, and I am just going to blend that into the crease. Okay, so now that I have that blended out to kind of how I like it, this I just put my hand up. This is just primer. Um, this is the Rimmel London concealer that I just used to prime my eyelids. I didn't wipe that off, so that's what that is. So I just finished putting the burnt orange shade kind of in my lid, and then I'm also going to go in right after with the same palette with the shade Madagascar. This like flat brown kind of shade and just kind of put that in the crease but a little bit lower than where I put the orange shade. It's also kind of warming it up a little bit. So fall confession guys, I really don't like pumpkin spice that much. I love the hype around it. Like I love that people love pumpkin spice but I am personally so much more of an apple cider person, an apple pie person, apple everything person. But I love the color orange and I love pumpkin, so that is why I am filming this look. But honestly, you will not catch me drinking a pumpkin spice latte anytime soon. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking the Juvia's Place Warrior Palette. Now, excuse my palette, guys. I dropped this twice and broke two of the colors. I honestly need to just buy a new one because it's such a beautiful palette that I need all the colors. But I'm taking this shade right here, this like kind of matte it's not really a white, it's more of a cream, and I'm just putting it on my brow bone just to highlight. I'm like embarrassed to even be filming with this palette, like I am aware it is so bad to have two broken shades. And now I'm going to be taking my rose water and a flat eco tool shader brush and just spraying this to wet the brush. Again, there's no reason I use rose water. I think I said that in another video, but I just use it just to wet my brush because that's what I have in front of me. And then I am taking the color Idia. I think it is this beautiful gold shade right there. And I am just going to pack this all over my lid. Okay, and now that this gold shade is on, I'm just going to take a little bit more of that burnt orange color from the Nubian 2 palette, and I'm just going to put the shade Morocco, and I'm just going to put a little bit more in the crease just to brighten it up again, just so it doesn't get overpowered by that gold, and I'm going for a very fall, warm, kind of fall leaves look, so I want it to be intense. Okay, and then for the last shade on my eyes, I'm going to be taking Kenya from the same palette, this dark brown right here, really pretty matte dark brown, and I'm going to be taking it on my Anastasia Beverly Hills blending brush. This is just the same brush that comes with all of the palettes, and I'm going to take a little bit of that Kenya and pack it onto the outer V of both of my eyes. For my 
my winged eyeliner, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner in black. This is the only one that I ever use. And I'm just going to be drawing on a wing on both sides of my eyes. I don't say what kind of wing because I feel like with eyeliner, you don't really know. So sometimes I'll go in for something really small and casual. And then I'll end up with like a big, bold, dramatic wing. So we will see how it comes out. I'm not promising you anything, but I just want a winged liner because I have such an intense eyeshadow look on. So I'm happy with how my wings turned out. So I'm just going to now put on some mascara. This is the Maybelline Defy the Lash Mascara in the shade Very Black. <laughs> Okay, so I did not put any mascara on my bottom lashes because I am going to do my face makeup and then I'm going to come back and add some of those colors that I used on my lids to my lower lash line. I also didn't put that bottom mascara because I got um, some nice mascara in my crease and I got a little dot in between my eyes there like I always do whenever I put on mascara. So I'm going to clean that up, do my face makeup, and then I will be back. Okay, I am back with my foundation done. So I haven't really been into recording me doing my foundation when I make like get ready with me's or tutorials only because I feel like it takes up too much time but I am going to be doing an updated foundation routine for fall just because I got some new stuff so I'll show you guys what I've been doing but so now my foundation is done and I am going to be taking the shade Ida again Idia I feel like I'm still saying it wrong but I'm going to be taking that on the same flat shader brush and then I'm just adding it a little bit to my inner crease and again this is why I don't do bottom like colors like not bottom line lower lash line colors is the word I'm looking for before I do my foundation because I feel like when you go in with a big giant beauty blender after that you mess everything up so I do my eyelids and my eyeliner then my foundation then my lower lash line and bottom mascara that is just how I like to do things so I'm just putting that color on the inner corner and then I'm going to be taking the same brush that I use to do my um, brow highlight and I'm going to be taking the shade Madagascar on that and I'm mixing it with a little bit of Morocco, so just the brown and the orange color. So I'm mixing those two, and then I'm going to put that on the outer part of my lower lash line. <music> So onto my contour and highlight, I'm using an old favorite of mine. Um, I used this when I was in high school, so it's funny to play with it now, but I'm taking my BH Cosmetics brush, the 134 brush, and I am tapping into my Rimmel London <clears throat> Kate palette, and this is the contour shade. I'm looking for a shade. Golden Bronze is the name of it. Just taking that. <laughs> And 
one thing about fuller coverage foundations is that they can make your face look really really good and matte which is a good thing that it's like a good coverage but sometimes it gives you too flat of a look so that's kind of how this foundation is so like it looks great in the sense that I love the coverage it gives me but I always need a little bronzer just to kind of give some shape to my cheekbones and I use a little bit on my hairline too just to warm up my face so I don't look completely flat and next I am taking my wet and wild highlight in the shade awesome blossom this is a beautiful warm bronzy gold highlight so I'm just taking that on my highlight brush this is more of a mini blush brush honestly I don't remember where I got it but I'm taking a little bit of that and I'm just dusting it on my cheekbone now this is a bit of an intense highlight in the shade that it's in so I'm not going too crazy with it I just want something on my face but I think it's perfect for um fall bronzy type looks but it's also great in the summer if you get a nice tan So then I'm going to finish off with my lips. So usually for fall, I would do a bold, either burgundy or cranberry look, but where I have so much going on with my eyes, I want to keep it more simple. So I'm using my Fenty Lip Gloss. This one is in the shade Fenty Glow. Um, I have the fussy one, and this one is just more of a golder shade, honestly, but it's beautiful. So I'm just going to put this on over my lips, and then I will be good to go.